Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. In this video tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to create and set up your web hosting packages to resell. So that's a two-pronged approach. The first thing we have to do is create them inside of Web Host Manager. And the second thing, we have to put them in WHMCS if you want to use the automated billing system. So right now on the screen is the Name Hero Reseller dashboard. Uh, if you want to follow along, go ahead and log in. You can click to the right and click log in and you can be right here. Uh, but I'm going to do this step by step. So regardless of your experience level, you can follow us and set this up. Okay, so once you're here, you click on Cloud Web Hosting and you're going to navigate to your package. You might have more than one. This is my demo account, so of course I do. I'm going to resellerhostingus.com, my corporate hero account. And I need to go to Web Host Manager. So I'm going to go to right under here, under Actions, log into WHM. Okay, now there's a lot of options in here, but don't get overwhelmed. It's, it's fairly simple to manage all this stuff. Um, we need to go to Packages. So we need to start typing in Package. You can see Add a Package, Delete a Package, or Edit a Package. And we want to add a package. Package name. So this is going to be for what we call the package that we're reselling to our customers. So I'm going to do a starter plus and a business. So this is going to be called starter. All right. Now from here, I can define a disk quota and bandwidth. Now this is important to pay attention to because of the way Web Host Manager is designed. If you want to offer them unlimited, which we're not in this package, but if we did, you can't check unlimited on disk or bandwidth. It won't set up right. That's because the way they designed the master reseller, and I wish it was not as confusing, but it is. So if you wanted to offer unlimited, you want to enter several nines in here. Same in here, several nines in here. You can't simply just put unlimited. I know it does not make sense, but that's how it's designed, so we're not going to challenge that. Okay, but anyways, I'm going to limit this because this is my starter package. So my starter package is going to be for 500 megabytes, and it's going to be for 500 megabytes of bandwidth. Okay, so 500, 500. And for these other options, I'm just going to leave these unlimited, um, but no add-on domains and no park domains. Okay, so that's going to be my starter package. So I'm going to go down here. Um, don't worry about these if you don't want to. You can set these to low. Actually, these are server-side settings, so um, we can't change that. Go down here. Um, you can't add dedicated IP or shell, so those are disabled. We keep that default. Um, and then you have the option to do a feature list. Um, really quick, the cPanel theme is going to be the same. Feature list, though, is important because by default, you have the default features. And this includes your auto SSL, your Cloudflare Railgun, Cloudflare, all that. Um, if you don't, if there's some features you don't want to include, then you need to make your own feature list. And so we'll talk about that too um, here towards the end of the video. But what, what I'm going to do is setting these up, I'm going to have all the default features. Um, but again, if we wanted to, to make this different, we can, but we'll have to do that later. All right, um, location is English. Okay, so let's, we can ignore these LVE settings because we're just going to use the default. All right, click save. And now our package is created. So if we go to edit package, you'll see uh, my package is here. So there's my starter. Um, add a package. We're going to do our plus. Our plus package, we're going to offer 1,000 megabytes. 1,000 megabytes of bandwidth. And you can, you can just figure out you know, how, you want to, how you want to structure this. You can use NameHero, go to NameHero.com, click on our web hosting, and um, you, know, you can kind of see how we do it, um, how we do our web hosting package. Let's go here now. You can see you know, our starter is uh, 10 gigabytes of disk space, um, unlimited bandwidth. Um, 80 gigabytes of disk space. So you can, you know, you can go wherever you want to go with this. Uh, it's completely up to you. It's your business. If you read my Resell Hero ebook, I give you a little bit more details about um, that. The average website, one WordPress website, average is about 500 megabytes. You know, if it's a little bigger than it is, but the average one, 500 megabytes will be fine. Um, but again, this is just up to you. For this plus package, we're going to give it unlimited parked and unlimited add-on domains. This means that they can host more than one domain on their account. We can go down here. We're going to leave all the rest of this stuff default and click add. So now we've got a starter, a plus, and now we're going to add a business, add a package. So we're going to call this business. Now our disk quota, um, let's say we wanted to offer 
Let's see, we did 500 megabytes, one gigabyte, let's do five gigabytes. So five, one, two, three megabytes, or that would be five gigabytes, okay. 5,000 megabytes, five gigabytes. Bandwidth, let's say we wanna do unlimited since this is business. So we're gonna enter all nines in there. And we're gonna do unlimited here and here. Everything else the same and add it. Okay, so now our packages are added. So if we want to have different features, like I said, by default, it's gonna have the features. So let's go to the default feature manager. So right here under packages, see feature manager, click that and you can add your own one, okay? So the default list is just what we have by default, which is everything. So let's say no Cloudflare. So you don't wanna offer Cloudflare. Click feature list and you can individually add features that you want this package to have. And so here you simply would not check Cloudflare. Okay, you can add all these other ones, but don't check Cloudflare. Now by default, in all of these are available, all of these. So they've got all these features, but if you wanna restrict them, you can. If you look on our blog at namehero.com slash startup, I've got a post on there about making more ROI charging for different features. Um, so it's up to you completely. You know, some web hosts, they do upcharge for Cloudflare. We include it for free. Um, so you can include it for free or you can charge, but this is how you would go about doing that. Um, as I said, this is where you go check it and you come up with your feature list. So maybe you wanna include all these, select all features like this and just don't click on Cloudflare. Boom and save. Now you have a feature with no Cloudflare. So maybe in our basic package, our starter package, no Cloudflare, we would change the feature list to the one of no Cloudflare. That's how that works. Can be good upsells, um, can add to your ROI, can make you a little bit different. Okay, so now our packages are all set. So if we want to, we can create websites now, right here, create a new account, and we can select you know, one of our packages and create them. But if you wanna automate it and use WHMCS, then I'm gonna show you how to do that. So if you don't wanna use WHMCS, you just wanna manually add sites, that's how, and you can skip the rest of this video. But if you wanna add them in WHMCS, let me show you how to do that. This is my WHMCS admin area. Just logged in, brand new installation, doesn't show much data. Wanna add our packages. So we wanna to go to setup, products and services, products and services. So you can see here, nothing's been set up. So first we have to create a group. So our group's gonna be called shared hosting, and you can call this whatever you want. Web hosting, shared hosting, cloud hosting, WordPress hosting, whatever group you want, name it. A group headline, if you wanna have a, um, a headline for you know, what exactly it is, select your cloud hosting plan. You can do that. And then if you need a tagline, this is just for templating. Um, 30 day money back. If I can learn to spell. Okay, so now any group features, um, it is to be available if um, this was set up. Available payment gateways, remember I didn't set any up when I set up my WHMCS, so you should see PayPal or credit card if you've set it up. Your order form templates, we're gonna use standard and click save. So now our group is created. Now we have to add our packages. So right here, create new product, boom. So this is gonna be a hosting account. Um, it's gonna be in the shared hosting group, and this is gonna be for your starter, so your starter package. Click continue, and now it's set up. So here, if you remember, we said it had 500 megabytes, this space, and it says here you can use HTML. So if you don't know HTML, you just copy for new line, 500 megabytes bandwidth, new line. Um, So something like that, right? Describe what you offer. You can use um, strong if you want to bold stuff or whatnot. Welcome email. You want to use your hosting account welcome email because it's a hosting account. It's going to WHMCS automatically format your emails. Really nice feature. Okay, require domain. We want to keep that checked because this requires someone to have a domain. I mean, obviously, if they're signing up for hosting, they need a domain. So this is going to be the option to register, transfer, or use their existing domain. So now we can um, go through the rest of this. If you wanna have a stock control, which you probably don't, if you wanna need to apply tax, if you wanna feature this package um, or hide it from the order form or retire it. None of those options are valid to us, so we save it. Okay, so that's now set up. Now we wanna do our pricing. Click on pricing. 
Currently it's free. Now we don't want to do that now, do we? You can do a one-time price. Once again, I don't really recommend doing that. Recurring, that's where the money is. So you might just want to have a monthly hosting for this. So we click here. Let's say the monthly price is $5.95. So if we wanted to go, let's say maybe annually, if they pay annually, we're going to discount it to $2.95. So at $2.95 for the year is $35.40. So $35.40. So they would have this, they could pay up front for one year or they could pay monthly. Okay, this is multiple quantities. You probably wouldn't want to do that. Um, how many recurring cycles? Probably don't want that. Auto terminate or fixed terms. That's if you're going to do a trial, um, you know, to automatically terminate that um, trial. You do it here. Termination email. Don't worry about that. Prorated billing. If you want to, that means if you when they sign up, you want to bill them on the same day every month. You can handle that here. I don't like that personally, so we're just going to save it. Okay. So now the pricing is set. Now click module settings. This is a cPanel account, the yeah, cPanel. So we're going to click under here and click cPanel. Here's our package name from Webhost Manager. Remember we created these a few minutes ago? You're going to make sure this is the package that you created in there. Where did we go? Back to simple mode. We'll keep this simple. The, biz, or the basic package. Starter package, sorry. The starter package. Now, we want to check automatically set it up as soon as the first payment is received. This way, when our customers go to our website, they can order the hosting, and as long as they pay us, it's set up. That way, we don't have to manually do it. Save changes. Done. Now, the product you made, the package you made in Webhost Manager, is now automated in WHMCS. So now you've got a custom field box. You're probably not going to need that. Configurable options, probably not going to need that. That's if you want to configure specific options. If you don't know what it is, don't worry about it. Upgrades, this is if you have another package to upgrade to. Um, once you set up the plus and the business, of course, those are upgrades. So you would select those in here. A free domain. Do you want to offer a free domain with this product? If so, define it all in here. Say yes, you do. Um, uh, if you do, do you want to renew it as normal or renew it if product is renewed? And then um, the payment options. You know, do you offer a free domain if they go monthly or if they go yearly? You know, you don't want to lose too much up front, so you probably only want to offer a free domain if they buy it a year up front. And this is the TLD, so you want to include a free.com or free.net or what have you. You know, some TLDs can be more expensive than others, so you may not want to offer a free, um, you know, you might want to offer free.org, maybe just a free.com. Other, this is if you want to have the affiliate program set up um, or any billing overages or stuff like that, you can configure in here. And then finally, you have the links to your product. So I'm just going to save all the changes here. And I'm going to copy this. If I wanted to link to this group I just created, I go right here. So you can see this is my shopping cart. You know, this is set up. If a cust I can send customers right here. If they simply just go to my WHMCS now, just billing.resellerhostingus, and they click under store, they can see my shared hosting right here. They can begin to order it. They can begin to register a domain. They can, they can begin to buy right now. And it's all set as long as we as long as you followed the directions until now and you've got the merchant account set up you've got the enom account set up you've got the hosting package set up then you're off to the races so the only thing left to do now is to put all your packages in here so we want to go to back to products and services back to pro whoops back to products and services and products and services confusing and then add the other package you know go and add the plus then add the business and so you add all the packages that you created inside of here and once that's set up, you're ready to go. You're ready to begin selling. And it's, it really is that simple. And that's what I like about WHMCS is because it's all set. And you can go play around WHMCS if you want to customize this stuff. Like you probably want to take, thank you for choosing WHMCS off. So you pro probably want to go over to here. Set up, or wait, it's support and announcements. And you probably want to edit that or delete it because it doesn't look too professional having that on there, right? Now, if we go back, we'll see we'll have no announcements. Um, but that's it. I mean, that's how you, you get this going and, um, you know, begin selling uh, web hosting. So I don't want to overcomplicate this or make this video too much longer. If you have any questions, feel free to let us know. That's how it's all done, though. And um, WHMCS has some great tutorials as well. So you might want to go to whmcs.com if you have questions, too. 
Um, our team, we really can't support customization of WHMCS. Um, their team, however, does support the software fully. They've encrypted their files, which is kind of a bummer for us because we can't really support their software if we don't have it encrypted and they're not going to sell it to us unencrypted. So it's kind of how that works. But our support team will let you know if, um, you know, if that's a concern to you. Um, besides that, thanks a bunch for watching and enjoy namehero.com.